All right. So, our attributes currently. I think we got too much crit rate. Let's swap out that helmet. Let's go to the juiced helmet and see where we're at. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? His attack's a little low. He's level one. I think it should be a little low. Let's see what happens when we level him up. And then he, what does he get from Ascension? More crit rate. Okay. I thought you resented Xiao. I don't resent him. I just not a big fan of him crying all the time. And I don't like his color scheme. I still don't like his color scheme. Power. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah, I like him more after the Archon quest. That's, that's true. Is his attack looking better now? Thoughts? Is he juiced or is he trash? He's got a lot of energy recharge, I know that. The other day, I ran into an old friend that I haven't seen for over 10 years. The first thing she said to me, Wow, you look exactly the same as high school. Now, you could call it good luck, but I call it keeps. Unfortunately, most men won't get lucky. Two out of three men will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. But with keeps, hair loss stops here. There's no cure for baldness, but you can prevent hair loss in the first place. Keeps is doctor recommended and FDA approved, and they'll ship everything you need to keep your hair right to your front door at a fraction of the cost that you could get it elsewhere. It's time to take action because the sooner you start, the better your chances on keeping your hair. Let's get going, gamers. Head over to keeps.com slash mtashed or click the link down below and you can get yourself 50% off your first shipment. This is a no brainer. You want to keep your hair, then you need to keep keeps in your mind and check out keeps down below. <laughs> So what, what do you do with this guy? Do you just jump up like this and slam? Get out of my way. Okay. Okay, so that was at level one talents. And do you max out this first? What do you max out first? Those were level one. Oh, sheesh. I'm going to have a ton of these books. I'm going to have a ton of these books. Because it's, um, I never used them. You know, the crazy thing is if I got this character on free to play God, I would have like an unending amount of books. Like I literally never use them like this. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's go try that boss again. Let's see what happens now. Thirty thousand already. That's kind of cool. Lament. Dude, that's got a massive AOE. 26,000 damage. He's doing like 40,000. What, what is it? 30 something thousand? And, I, and I, I still have more talents that I could get for him. I could probably get more of these too. Crown him? Worth it? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, he's juiced up. All right, let's go. Let's go back there and try this thing again. You have to remember that a lot of my supports on this account are not built properly. Nope. 40,000? I didn't even use Sucrose there. I forgot to use Sucrose there. I forgot to use my Sucrose buff. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Like this. Hey! Almost 50,000 damage. 50,000 damage? AoE? That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know what other people's Shao hits, but that seems like it'd be pretty good. I I'm happy with that. I mean, if we're looking at my Arataki Ito, right? And the damage he can do, I feel like I've got two really strong DPS units now. Like, universally good DPS units. 
Look, let's go into here. Let's go. We'll, we'll do the Wombo combo on this side. Where's Goro? Where's Goro? Right there. And then we'll do... Uh, ah, Chi-Chi's fine. That's fine. We'll do Chi-Chi. And then on this side, we'll do... I mean, we could get the energy from her. That, that. And we could deal with a bunch of shields with that. And then we'll go with Bandit, I guess. So we're losing some attack. But but she gives a big bonus. Let's try that. Let's do that. People are saying Yelon with her is really good. So let's see. Like, let, let, let's see the DPS we're doing here. Pretty good deeps. I think, I think this is some pretty good deeps. He's got pretty good AoE. That was a 50,000 damage hit, but that's his E ability. It's on a, a larger cooldown. Right? But that's some pretty... That was a 30,000 damage hit. I think I'm happy with that. But is Xiao hitting harder? I don't know. Xiao might be better than Edo for me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm playing this pretty bad, but let's just see. Let's just see just for context. So 7 minutes and 20 seconds. If I played it perfectly, let's say seven minutes and 40 seconds. Let, just for context, we'll switch the teams up and we'll go to the other side. Teamwork is dream work. Huh? Busted. Game's up. Promise over. Lament. Worthless. Worthless. Tear. Shut it. Tear. Worthless. He's got his burst back. How did I get my burst back already? That's the ER, boys. Right? I guess you're also dropping lots of particles because these things, as you do damage, you get those, like, general... I also feel like that's doing their tank here because of that that thing in the middle. It's like it's like buffing them up. Let's try that again though, just to see this. I mean, this will also help group the enemies with sucrose. Let's just see how quick it is. Animal this is nauseating. A little bit. It's a little bit nauseating doing that. Like it's actually giving me motion sickness. All right, group these idiots up. Oops. This is hitting pretty hard. Oh, I wish I had Yelon's attack going. It seems faster. So it was faster. It, it definitely was faster. And I'm scuffed. Like, I, I'm actually so scuffed with him. I, I don't I don't really know his rotations. I think I'm not jumping high enough. Like, I, I think I could do a lot better with him. But it was still faster than the the uh, the other one. The only thing is Sucrose is grouping them. And I've got more AoE, maybe. So that definitely helps. I don't know. I, I think that's a pretty good sign, though, considering I don't have, like, a dedicated set for him. I think Xiao is going to be nice for the account. If anything, I've just got another good DPS unit to use. I feel like I've got a lot of mixed bag supports, though. Like, Ito, he's got, like, kind of a specific Geo team that he needs. And Xiao almost seems to have, like, a specific team that he needs, you know, with a little battery. But I'm wondering if... Can she generate enough energy for the team, maybe? Could I use her and passively generate some particles? Or, like, if I had Kazuha, would that be nutty? Kazuha boosting him up, right? Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's probably better options for me down the road. Yeah, Zhang Li would help this account a lot. Zhang Li would make this account pretty nice. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really enjoying him. I've got a great weapon on him right here. I also need to remember to do, when I'm doing my jumps, to do a little attack in between. Just a quick attack. 
to make sure that I'm always stacking this bad boy up and stacking it up as quick as I can. Because there's enough delay that if I'm just doing jumping attacks, it's, that's probably not enough. And I also need to probably do a double dash before I do. So bop, bop, I'm getting multiple stacks, right? I'm doing my, uh, my jumping, I'm doing that one. And then I can stack that quicker and keep the stacks. Um, I mean, I guess you can only get one every 0.3 seconds, but it's still probably, probably gonna help because we wanna get up to this 12% increased damage as soon as we possibly can. But yeah, he's, I mean, we leveled him up pretty good. We can definitely get some progress here. This gives me, uh, what does that next level up give me? Normal charge and plunging. That's another, you know, almost, f well, that is 4%, 4.6% damage. Uh, that goes a long way when you're doing 50,000 damage, right? That, that is a pretty big upgrade. So, I mean, we can work on that and we can get two more levels. So we can get like 10% more damage on those, which is pretty good. This is level five. It's not like it does a ton of damage or anything, but hey, it's still progress. We can get this bad boy up a little bit. He's going to be a really fun unit for the account. The question is, do we try to grind out his artifacts more? Try to get the new set or do we just, are we just happy with the gladiator in this? I mean, I guess the argument could be, I could keep farming for the emblem set, keep getting Shimanawa, look for some upgrades there. It's going to be hard to get upgrades on some of these pieces, but we could look for upgrades there. But also we could, we could get rid of uh, any of our trash artifacts go for gladiator pieces, fill in the gaps. I've got a lot of energy recharge, which was kind of cool, but maybe we have a little bit too much. So I see the potential. I like Xiao. I don't like him visually. I'm not gonna lie. And he makes me feel a little bit sick when I'm playing him. I don't like j jumping in the air with him, unfortunately. But I mean, that's not the end of the world. I think that he will be an upgrade for the Spiral Abyss though, overall for us. Can he push us to 36 stars? I don't know, maybe. I think I'm missing some of the key supports or or I just need to learn how to play around the new supports. Cause like one of the, one of his better supports people are saying is Yelon. Well, I've hardly even used her. I, I just got her, you know, a, a week ago. I haven't even been playing on this account too, too much. So I still need to master her and master her dashes and the breakthrough barb and just, you know, I need to practice with the rotations a little bit better, but he'll be fun to play with. He'll be cool. But that's it. Those are my thoughts on Xiao. We level them up, we test them out, and uh, he's stronger than I thought, honestly. I, I didn't think I'd be doing 50,000 damage already, but I, I don't know about the, play the playing factor. I still think he makes me a little woozy, and that's why I've avoided him this whole time. I, ju I just didn't want to jump up and down 24-7 with him. It's kind of disorienting. It doesn't make me feel very good, but there's no doubting his power. So if you are someone that deals with motion sickness or get disoriented by like up and down and like the screen just shaking around, maybe he's not for you. Because now that I've played him again, I'm looking at him, I'm like, yeah, no, I, I, that's why I've been avoiding him. And I don't recommend him for people that have like motion sickness. Even if he does hit hard, even if he looks cool, you know, primo gems are primo gem or primo gems. I used a ton of primo gems getting Yalon. I used a ton of primo gems getting weapons. And then I use more Primo Gems getting him. You know, I can't get those back. I can't get the weapons, the, the, the stuff for his spear back. I can't get the Primo Gems for him back. And so if you do that, you get a character and you're not in love with them. Or they make you sick while playing with them. You know, that's a bit of a tragedy right there. Uh, that's, that's tough. So something to consider. I know that maybe I'm a baby compared to other people, but it is a real issue for some people. I mean, some people can't drive in cars without getting sick. And for some reason, he gives me like some, uh, it, it, like not dizziness, but just he just makes me feel kind of sick in my stomach for some reason, the longer I play him. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.